Welcome to Nellis Air Force Base, Nevada, rookie. This is what we call a FAM, or familiarization flight, so you can get comfortable with all the basics of your heads-up display, or HUD for short. Your takeoff speed is going to be around 140 knots. Press the F2 key to select the HUD view. The dial in the left center of your HUD indicates your takeoff airspeed. We'll get into more detail once you're airborne. Now hit the backspace key to power up to full afterburner. Once you reach takeoff speed, pull back on the stick and get airborne. Level off at or around 12,000 feet and go to your first steer point so we can get this show on the road. Gear up. Press the 9 key to reduce your engine power to cruise setting. Leaving your engines on afterburner will use up all your fuel, or it may cause the aircraft to go to max velocity, or VMAX, and cause damage to your aircraft. By now you realize there's a lot of information on your HUD. Pressing the comma and the period keys will cycle through your available HUD colors. I'll walk you through the important things step by step. First, the box number at the very top of your display is your compass heading indicator. This will show you the current heading of the airplane at all times. North is zero degrees, east is 90 degrees. You'll get the idea. You'll find the info you need to get around the steer points in the lower right corner. To the right of this is the point number. Sitting right above these two is the time it'll take you to get to the next point. Arriving at your steer point won't do you much good unless you know what to do once you get there. So in the lower left hand corner of your display you'll find the instructions on what to do at the next waypoint. The lines in the U shape below the flight path marker form the roll indicator. The carrot shows your plane's current roll angle relative to the horizon. The dial at the right center of the HUD is your barometric altimeter. This shows your altitude above sea level in feet. The more info you have in combat, the more likely you are to survive. So a lot of the most important flight information is concentrated right smack in the middle of your HUD. The steering pipper, called the command steering cue, always points to the direction of your next steer point. It'll point straight up and be in the center of your flight path marker once you've got the next point right in front of you. Press the end key to cycle through your steer points. The flight path marker is a small semicircle in the middle. This will point to where your plane will be if you don't touch the stick. Having the flight path marker pointing at the ground for too long is probably not a smart idea. Horizontal lines that run down the center of your display make up the pitch ladder. This indicates the pitch angle of your aircraft's nose. Numbers with solid lines indicate a pitch above the horizon. Dash lines indicate a pitch below the horizon. The vertical bar in the upper right side of the HUD is a vertical velocity indicator. The tick to the left of the bar shows how fast you're either climbing or descending. This value is displayed numerically below the scale in hundreds of feet per minute. Below this are the letters AGL and VV. These stand for feet above ground level and vertical velocity. The AGL number indicates how high you are above ground level in feet. Your VV indicator repeats the information given by the vertical velocity indicator. In air combat, speed is a key element of victory. You can track that speed with a calibrated airspeed dial to the left side of your display. This indicates your plane's airspeed in nautical miles per hour, or knots. Right below this is the letter M. This is your Mach indicator. This shows your airspeed relative to the speed of sound, or Mach speed. Below this, you'll find the letter G. This is your G-force indicator. This will show the G-force load being exerted on you and your plane. The weird looking symbol on your display is the Greek letter alpha, which indicates your plane's angle of attack. A reading of zero means you're at level flight. Your F-22's thrust vectoring engines give it a greater angle of attack than most other airplanes. The F tells you your fuel reading measured in thousands of pounds. Keep an eye on this if you plan on bringing yourself and your airplane back home. As you maneuver, keep in mind the effect of gravity on the plane and your body. Pulling too many G's will cause the blood to drain out of your head and you could experience a blackout. Likewise, pushing too many negative G's can cause all the blood to rush to your head and you experience a red out. This begins to occur around negative four G's. Keep an eye on the G indicator on your HUD to prevent these from happening. Okay, look at the red letters down at the lower right corner of your HUD. If you see a G, that means your landing gear is down. If you see an F, that means your flaps are down. The B means your air brakes are deployed. An R means your radar is on. The numbers show the percentage output of your engines.
Congratulations, that was the last steer point. You've managed to complete your first hop without turning your jet into a lawn dart.